Hello everyone, I'm Hui Zhen from Saint Yasin University. Today I'd like to share our work, an adversarial transfer network for knowledge representation learning. The co-authors include Shuang Ming from South China Normal University and Professor Rong Pan, who is my supervisor. In this paper, we try to explore how to use auxiliary knowledge graphs to improve the knowledge representation learning on target knowledge graphs with transfer learning. Knowledge graphs are structured facts in the real world. They can be seen as directed graphs where nodes are entities and edges are relations. For example, in the left finger, Ljubljana is the capital of Slovenia. All these three elements constitute a triplet, which is a basic storage unit of knowledge graphs. Based on this graph structure, we can conduct many downstream tasks, such as recommendation, question answering, or other tasks. But the algorithms of graphs always have high complexities. To deal with this problem, knowledge representation learning is proposed. The input is the triplets in knowledge graph and the output is the representation. The existing methods can be roughly divided into two categories. The first are shallow models. They always make mathematical assumptions on triplet and then define scoring function that valid triplet should satisfy based on the assumption. The second are deep models. They implicitly model the subgraphs of entities and relations. Considering the interpretability, we focus on shallow models in our work. Most previous shallow models always assume that knowledge graphs are dense enough, and the standard dataset used for tests also removes the low frequency entities and relations. However, in the real world, entities always have long tail distribution. That means most entities only have few triplets for training. Some work has explored how to solve this problem, such as introducing entity descriptions or training with language models, but these solutions all requires lots of external completion. We also observe that the learning process of knowledge graphs are independent, so we considered using the learn features in other knowledge graphs to help with the new knowledge graph. In this setting, we have a knowledge graph and its learn entity embeddings we call it as a teacher, and another knowledge graph to be learned, we denote it as a target. We can also construct an aligned entity set by entity linking or stream matching or other methods. Through this set, we can transfer the features in the teacher knowledge graph to the target one. But considering the data security, we do not use the original triplet data, but only the entity embeddings because we can hardly recover the original data from the entity embeddings without the relationship information. During the transfer process, we have to answer two questions. The first is how to transfer the features, and the second is how to effectively transfer the features. For the first question, we proposed two constraints, and for the second, we proposed an adversarial adaptation model. This is the framework of our proposed a trans -N. It includes three main parts. For the first question, we propose the embedding transfer part, and for the second question, we propose the adversarial adaptation part. So in the following we will introduce these three main parts in detail. The embedding module we use trans E here, and it assumes that the relationship between the hand and tail represents the translation operation, and it defines the scoring function that the hand plus the relation minus tail will equal to zero. And we use the margin-based loss function defined in rotate, and all this part is the existing methods and is not the main point of our work. 
and this transit can be replaced with any other shell models and we will prove this point in our experiments. The next model is the embedding transfer model. The first part is the distance constraint. As we can observe in the distribution of representations, we can find that the entities with related semantic always appear in the same subspace. So we hope the aligned entities embeddings to be as close as possible in the target space. And we use the cosine distance to realize this as the cosine distance requires the embeddings of two aligned entities uh, has the same directions. It is softer than the L2 distance as it doesn't have any constraint on the length of embeddings. The second constraint is on the triplet. As we can see in this finger, Slovenia is aligned in two nodigraphs, and in the target nodigraph, Slovenia is the addition. Uh, is the sum of Ljubljana and the capital of. And based on this idea that the teacher entities should also satisfy the triplets is aligned and target entities have, we define a margin based loss on these triplets, which means that Ljubljana plus the capital of should also equal the teacher entities in Madden. The transfer method has been defined before, but let's see two cases of aligned entities during the transferring. The first example is about Antigua and Barbuda. Uh, the circle represents the teacher knowledge graph and the triangle equals the entities in the target knowledge graph. As we can see, Antigua and Barbuda in both knowledge graphs uh, represents the same concept country. They are all connected to the entity stage. But for the second case, rush. Rush in the teacher knowledge graph are connected with skin disease element. It means tether. While in the target knowledge graph, it describes haste. They have completely different concepts. So the teacher features are useless to the target one or even harmful. To avoid the negative influence on the target knowledge graph, we propose the adversarial adaption module. We try to dynamically adjust the weights of constraint according to the consistency between the aligned entities. We implement it with the conditional generative adversarial network. The discriminator takes the aligned entities embeddings as an input, and it predicts the consistency store score of these two inputs. But the embedding space of the entities are very large, so we use the generator to generate fake entity embedding examples to help with the discriminator. Also, we use the distance constraint to guide its training. We conduct the experiments on two bilingual datasets and one tree source dataset. The statistic is listed in the table one, and we conduct the experiments on the task knowledge graph completion. It aims to predicting the missing hand or tail for a given triplet. We compare our work with four representative shell models, including transit, dismount, come black, and rotate, and another embedding transfer based baseline, C transit, which is a transfer without the adversarial adaption model. This is the results on representative baselines. As we can see in these fingers, the red circle represents the better trains on the matrix, and it trans outperforms baselines on most metrics. And this is the result on transfer based baseline, C trans E, and is also the ablation study on adversarial adaption model. As we can see in these two fingers, A transfer outperforms C trans E 
on all metrics, and this also means that the dynamic ways improve the performance. And we also conduct ablation study on the two constraints for the baseline transient. We add the triplet constraint, which denoted as an orange, or as the distance constraint denoted as gray, or with both constraints denoted as yellow, or our H1CM framework completely. We can conclude that both constraints work and the distance constraint is more general on most data set. And we also conduct extension experiments on other embedded models. We replace the trans model with this now convex or rotate, and the experiments results on the MR and SS3 results all prove that the framework can be extended to other embedding models well. Also conduct extension experiments on teacher knowledge graphs. Here we use knowledge graphs as teacher with different languages or different alignment ratios or from different sources. And we also use multiple knowledge graphs as a teacher. And the statistics of the data sets are listed in the following table. As we can see in these results, we can conclude that a transient can be applied to both knowledge graphs in different languages and those from different sources. And it's not required that the teacher knowledge graph is denser, denser than the target one. And the transfer learning and the transfer learning process from different teacher knowledge graphs would not influence each other so that we can choose various and multiple knowledge graphs as a teacher to help us improve the knowledge graph machine learning further. Besides, we also analyze how the entity alignment ratio will influence the transfer results. As we can see in these three fingers, we can the higher entity alignment ratio is, the better performance our framework will be will have. And furthermore, we conduct the hyperparameter sensitivity experiments and analyze how sensitive the performance of each transient to the basic base of constraints. As we can see in the first line, the results of a transient has a clear train of different hyperparameters value. While for the C transient without the adversarial adaption model, in the second line, there is wonder distribution of the hyperparameters value. So we can conclude that adversarial adaption model reduces the dependence on the two hyperparameters. Thanks for your listening. If you are interested in our work or have any questions, please kindly read our paper or directly connect us. Our code and data are available online. Thanks again.